For years, Texas has seen success luring big companies away from other parts of the country and convincing them to relocate here. Now, part of that success comes from tax breaks, but one of the best tools to do that went away last year. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with Austin Business Journal editor Colin Pope about a new plan to sweeten the deal. For a long time, Texas had what was known as Chapter 313, which gave major tax breaks to companies that were opening up here in Texas. How did that work and why did it go away? Well, 313 was really uh, devoted to uh, luring big, usually industrial facilities here. So here locally, think Tesla, the Samsung factory, those were uh, brought here. Uh, with the help of these 313 incentives, which gave them um, tax breaks at the school district level. And so if you look at your tax bill, the school district taxes are usually the biggest chunk of those property taxes and property taxes in Texas are big. And so this was seen as a way to kind of minimize and, and compete with other states, quite frankly, for these big businesses. There is a new plan called Chapter 403 that just went into effect. What is that? It also involves school districts, and how is it different? Yeah, well, that's what, so 403 replaces 313, so, because um, 313 was viewed as too much corporate welfare. Um, some companies were able to get 100% tax rebates on their, on their school property taxes, and, you know, when it's a time when, you know, teachers are having to pay for uh, classroom supplies out of pocket, some people didn't think that that was quite right. Um, so the new program, Still, it can be approved by a school district, but the taxes are uh, the, the tax breaks are kind of limited to 50% in most cases. In some cases, rare cases, you can get 75% tax, tax um, uh, rebates. Um, so that's the biggest difference. Um, one other big difference is that uh, Texas is not going to incentivize renewable energy projects like um, wind. Uh, wind power plants and in uh, and, and solar farms because they just don't provide a lot of jobs and they didn't really add too much to the tax rolls anyway. So um, a couple examples of the changes. Our local leaders saw a lot of success using Chapter 313 to lure some of these companies here. Is there any indication that 403 will be as successful? There's a lot of people excited in the economic development world about it, and they say that they see companies in the wings. Think of uh, Samsung suppliers, for instance. Samsung's bringing its big factory online in Taylor. There's still, almost once a month, we're writing about another big factory that's gonna serve that Samsung factory. So those kinds of companies are still gonna need to set up shop here, and those are just the types of companies that might be able to take advantage of 403. Colin Pope with the Austin Business Journal. Thank you, Colin. My pleasure, Tom.